Microsoft Edge is no longer the outdated, stuck-in-the-past web browser that Internet Explorer was. It's come a long way, but is it worth using over Google Chrome? I've tested both browsers to see if Edge can take the crown as the best web browser. First, let me address the elephant in the room. I did the majority of my testing of both Edge and Chrome on Mac. I know, I know, it makes no sense. Edge is a Microsoft product, so it's gonna run best on Windows. And while I do have access to a Windows computer, Mac is what I use every single day, and I'm not gonna force myself to use a different operating system just to test a browser. Plus, I figured if Edge impressed me and performed well on Mac, it would theoretically perform just as well, if not better, on Windows. One of the main reasons I was interested in giving Edge a serious look is the fact that it's based on Chromium, the open source web engine that powers Google Chrome. That speaks volumes to the reliability and speed you should expect from Edge. It's safe to say this is not the Internet Explorer of years past. When I tested both browsers on BrowserBench.org, Edge performed better than Chrome on Windows, but Chrome performed better than Edge on Mac. I didn't notice much of a speed difference in real-world testing on my Mac. Edge was also surprisingly reliable. Whenever I test a non-Chrome browser, I'll usually have an issue with a page not loading right or something taking forever, but I didn't see any of these reliability problems problems with Edge, which was an encouraging sign. Chrome is a very reliable browser, but it's never exactly stood out to me as efficient. It's long had a reputation for being a battery hog and a RAM hog on both Mac and Windows. One Edge feature I noticed right away was the automatic efficiency mode, which is supposed to help you save battery life when your laptop is not plugged in. I'm not exactly sure how I would test this and see what battery life would be like with versus without this feature enabled, but I like the concept. I also noticed when I was browsing that sometimes tabs would become grayed out if I hadn't opened them for a while, and the page would reload when I clicked the tab. Edge sleeps tabs by dumping the page from RAM to help save on resources if you haven't clicked it in an hour by default, but you can adjust the time interval to anything between 30 minutes and 12 hours, or you can disable the feature entirely. Once again, I'm not really sure how much this feature is actually going to save resources, but I was intrigued by it. I've never seen it before in another browser. The Edge interface is nearly identical to Chrome, even on Windows, but all the features that are packed into Edge are what makes it really stand out. Edge has all the essentials like profiles, syncing data between devices, and a built-in tracker blocker, already more features than Google Chrome has. But it goes far beyond the basics. There are optional features like a sidebar and vertical tabs that can set the interface apart from Chrome. You can hide the sidebar if it gets annoying to you, but it allows you to access all the rich features of Edge with a click. One of my favorite features is the shopping feature. It shows you all the known promo codes for a particular store when you're browsing on a website, and it lets you copy and paste the codes to try them in checkout. You can also contribute coupon codes if you know of one and let other users take advantage of the savings. This is basically equivalent to a site like Honey or Rakuten, only it's built into Edge and you don't have to install a third-party extension to use it. The Tools tab offers quick access to a calculator, translator, world clock, and more. Oh, and speaking of tools, you can easily generate a QR code for any URL with a click. And Bing AI is there to chat with you or help you compose text, though I don't know how I feel about this whole AI trend with it getting added as a feature to literally everything. I also like how you can easily group tabs together by dragging one tab on top of another. To be clear, you can also take advantage of groups in Chrome, but you have to right click a tab to create a group, and in Edge it's so much more intuitive to just drag a tab onto another to create a new group. Edge has a ton of features that Chrome doesn't, and I'm a fan of everything they're doing to innovate. Edge is a productivity powerhouse, and I don't think you have to be a Microsoft user or a Microsoft fan to benefit. There's obviously tight integration with other Microsoft products, but there's also all the quality of life improvements that Microsoft has added to Edge that can make it worth using even if you don't take advantage of other Microsoft products. Microsoft does seem to be targeting corporate users and students with their feature set. There's a huge emphasis on Microsoft products in the sidebar, with quick access to Microsoft 365 and out Outlook. And for students, there's even a built-in feature to help you solve math equations. Again, this is nothing proprietary, and there are third-party apps you can download and point your camera at a math problem and it will solve it for you, but these apps often have subscription services, and this feature built into Edge is completely free. Even something like generating a QR code on a third-party website can often result in a pitch to sign up for another pesky subscription service. But not with Edge, you just click a button and there's your free QR code. But at the same time, all these features included in Edge kind of have me scratching my head. Many of them are convenient, but you can get them through third-party extensions and websites. So 
why? Why does Microsoft feel the need to add all of this bloatware to their browser? Don't get me wrong, a lot of the features are cool and people will get use out of them, but it kind of feels like Microsoft just went ham adding all these features to their browser so Edge could be known as the cool browser. A way to steal market share. Come over to the cool browser, we have this feature and that feature. Well, wait, users do realize you can get all these features in other browsers through extensions, right? I've used Google Chrome for many years and I've never said to myself, man, you know what this browser really needs? A sidebar with quick access to a calculator. However, Edge has features like the ability to take a full page screenshot. And this is something I've tried to do in Chrome many times with third party extensions. They've always been glitchy and never quite worked right, but the feature in Edge works flawlessly. And there are many times I've had to generate a QR code in Chrome and I just Google a random website and hope that they don't try to sell me some subscription service. But it's easy to do in Edge and it's free and it just takes one click. Generally, I'm unoffended by all the extra features in Edge. In fact, I've been enjoying my experience with it. And if you're enjoying your experience with this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new content. One of the first things I do when testing a new browser is evaluate which third-party extensions are available. Microsoft has their own extension library, which they call Microsoft Edge Add-on. I didn't pay too much attention to Edge add-ons because Microsoft Edge actually supports Chrome extensions. This is because it's based on Chromium and I was able to run all of my Chrome extensions without any hiccups. So far in my testing, Edge seems like Chrome, but better. It's a very similar experience to Chrome, it's fast, it's reliable, it runs all the same extensions, and it has all the extra features. So how does it compare when it comes to privacy and security? Google and Microsoft both do not have an emphasis on user privacy, but it does say a lot that Edge has a built-in tracker blocker. Chrome doesn't have any feature even close to this, nor do I ever expect them to add one. Google is an advertising business. They offer free products to collect user data. Then they can target ads to users through their free services like Gmail, Google Search, and YouTube. But wait, isn't Microsoft in the advertising business too? Yeah, they are. They have Microsoft Advertising, which is their own platform to run targeted ads on services like Bing. So does the Edge Tracker Blocker block Microsoft's own trackers? Nope. Every Microsoft website I visited in Edge said it was blocking zero trackers. Microsoft is absolutely tracking users across websites and activities. And while Edge attempts to make it look like Microsoft cares about your privacy with the built-in tracker blocker, I wouldn't trust the privacy of Microsoft Edge any more than I would Google Chrome. In fact, some users claim that Microsoft's data collection practices in Edge make it worse than Chrome when it comes to privacy. So if you're concerned about privacy and protecting your user data, Data, I wouldn't trust either of these browsers. Personally, privacy is important enough to me that I have serious reservations about using Chrome or Edge. But judging between the functionality of these two browsers, I see Edge as Chrome Plus. It has all the same speed and reliability of Chrome, but with all the extra features. If you're a Microsoft user wanting the tight integration with other Microsoft products, or you just enjoy the added features and you aren't concerned about privacy, I can absolutely recommend Edge from a functionality perspective. But if you do care about your privacy, you'd be better off choosing a different browser entirely. I've done a lot of research into different browser options, including intense testing. You can check out six of the most popular browser options in an epic comparison video here. 